the PNID Match Properties command creates an easy way to transfer data through multiple components in CADWORKS 2010. In this example, we have a gate valve, which we've already added information to. We'd like to transfer this information to these three other valves in the drawing. Previously, we had to do this manually, but with CADWORKS 2010, we can use the Match Properties command for PNID. We can select the original object and then specify the other objects that we want to transfer the information to. Now when we edit the valves, we can see that all the information has been added. Likewise, using the Match Properties with Tag allows us to select the source object and then any other object we want to transfer the information to. Inline Inheritance is another big new feature in CADWORKS PNID 2010. The PID Inheritance Setup command allows us to define properties that the inline items such as valves, miscellaneous components, and reducers will inherit from their parent process line. We can draw a process line, add some information, and from the settings found in PNID Inheritance Setup, we can assign the inline item properties. Now when we place a valve, it is automatically populated with the service and the area. For valves that were placed before we had the inheritance set up, we can use the PNID inheritance update command so that all of our valves are populated with the correct items from the inheritance setup. In CADWORKS PNID 2010, the line number functionality from plant has been carried over to PNID. We now have the PNID number count command, which allows us to assign a new count value without going through the number setup dialog. Also included are the increment and decrement commands. In CADWORKS Plant 2010, we now have the support palette, which allows us to insert 3D Caesar and Isogen compatible pipe supports. We can select from a file of pre-configured supports, choose Insert, select the pipe, for items with multiple sizes available, we are prompted to select from a list. The list contains the items and the available sizes for each item. Next we are prompted for an insertion point. In addition to the library, the support modeler also includes the ability to create custom pipe supports. Also, in CADWORKS 2010, we have the ability to send mitered pipe to isogen using the m pip command. The options to export the mitered pipe are listed in the isogen data dialog.
Here on the ISO we can see the final output of the mitered pipe exported to Isogen. The CADWORKS steel shapes have been updated to include the double angle, the Z shape, channel with lip, and angle with lip. These follow the standard CADWORKS steel insertion options. The angle with lip the double angle and the Z-shape. Also, CADWORKS has added the SGC Edit All command, which allow us to edit multiple objects at one time using the standard Steel Component Edit dialog. The last major Steel function is the CIS2 Export and Import feature. With the new bi-directional capabilities, we can move our model from analysis to 3D design to 2D drawing creation seamlessly. In CADWORKS Plant 2010, we now have the ability to import and export our HVAC model to a database. CADWORKS Equipment 2010, we can easily add insulation to any component. We can do it either by specifying the insulation size, or by expanding the dialog, choosing an insulation type, modifying the description or density fields, and changing the thickness. Also new in CADWORKS Equipment 2010 is the ability to look up body flanges based on ANSI flange lookup tables. The last great feature of 2010 is adding blind flanges to nozzle components. Special thanks goes to CoAid and ECAT Inc. for their partnership in developing and selling these products. This video is brought to you by the Process Design from the Outside team at www.ecatinc.com forward slash PDO team.